as a fuck? Jack. What? It's working now that the emulator's closed. Oh no. So <laughs> if we're streaming now, we're like hello internet. So if yeah. I start the emulator now, it should be It'll... fine. Okay, let's try it. I'm gonna try let's it. See. Here we go. The knob shits itself. Remember to share the screen after you bring it up. Oops, can't stream anymore. Sorry. Remember to screen I, share. I, I know, I know. Right, so, uh, cool. may the fourth be with you yeah. until Cinco de Mayo. Then you must prepare for the revenge of the sixth. <laughs> that was clever. I liked that. That was that was a stolen meme. My my fellow bus driver showed it to me this morning because they taught the bus drivers to meme. Now you'll recall. Yeah, they it, it's part it of required, our training. Yeah, required training. Let me do a quick screen share with Jack. So, uh, it is it oh, is yeah. May fourth, and we are here yeah. celebrating the Star War. It is a uh, very War. important historical event. Star War, the and backstroke of the West. We found out that uh, this game was... For, first off, this is the only Star Wars game I've ever played and really had any interest in. And I'm not really... I don't, I'm not and really up for run around as, it, a, as a dude and shooting people using the Force. And it's and a racing say. game. It uh, is a racing uh, game. Surprise, surprise. Wow, this was even before I met Road Rocket. I don't play a lot of racing games. This was one of the few early ones that I liked. It is very F Zero esque. Yeah, fast paced. Uh, who knew? There it goes. Oh, look at that frame rate. Yeah, that's some now Ocarina of Time hack frame rate. Okay, it's it's better now. It's just that for some reason Lucas Arts takes up all the system power. It's like the yeah. the Sega intro. Where that's, you know, like half of the space on the cartridge is the SEGA! Yeah. That, that was it. That, that, that was that the entire weird. intro sequence, by the way. So, I pressed yep. no buttons. So, uh, this, uh, we actually tried to... This is, uh, on N64, right? Yes, and we found we out actually, as we were we starting this... We tried to get it running on PC. You said there was a PC version. I said, was it on Steam? And yes, it was on Steam for 350 tree fit yeah and so and i bought it were... for tree fit it and there were a couple problems with that uh first it did not recognize it 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 fucked up in in full screen and i couldn't click anything i reset it a few times and i was able to click stuff but it didn't recognize my controller so that was a hard no from you so you're gonna get a refund yeah i'm, I'm gonna get back my tree fit <laughs> your tree fit Right, so this game was interesting for a couple of things, like the, the racing uh, pods can be destroyed, A, and B, there's an over interesting overheat boost mechanic. It, it is, uh, it doesn't have any crazy items or anything like Mario Kart, but it does have, uh, it does, has mechanics to keep things interesting. A little more, a little more realistic in the way of mechanics. Also, people are probably going to be doing a bunch of Star Wars related content oh, yeah. today, and this is uh, this will be our different. This will be how how we differentiate ourselves. Hello, Darian. Who are we playing? Oh, you know. <laughs> now this is Anakin Skywalker, who we will not be yeah. playing as. Oh, I rem I mean, we Time Bolt. <laughs> Time Bolt. <laughs> look at these fine cast of characters, all drawn from the greatest movie ever made, Backstroke of the West. Heavy Indi. Was that yeah, episode Scott, no. one or was that a different one? Backstroke uh, of the Backstroke West. Backstroke of the West was three. Elan Mac. One, I... Elan. Elan <laughs> Musk. It's, a... it's an alien Elon Mu Elon Musk. The remastering Elon is for Musk. PS4. I heard that a Switch version was coming out, so I guess they're yeah remastering it for a bunch of consoles. Odie Mandrell. Odie Mandel. Oh, that that's all we got so far. Yeah, we we don't have Sebulba yet. So I've never unlocked Sebulba. Uh, I there is a character I think Bullseye Navwa, who I think had the best stats in my opinion that I like to play as, but he's not. You gotta unlock him. So, so we I, need somebody with good acceleration and top speed. I usually started with uh, Eb Endicott because of his uh, 
I, I, I guess for the fans, we have to do Anakin, right? For the voice lines. For the fans. The fans yeah. of Anakin. The people who love this Anakin. movie, Jack. I'm going to play Anakin people. until I unlock the character I want to play as. Is that fair? Okay. Yeah, they, they, well, by that point, he'll have retired. He'll have been free to do pursue his retired, training. He'll have fucking been... died. <laughs> that is one difference between this and F-Zero. You can, you blow up, but it's not permanent, unlike F-Zero. Yeah, you just get a new pod racer. Would be cool as an option. Track favorite, Sebulba. So, so there it... is, I, I think this is a very well-designed game in all but one crippling way. There is one serious design flaw with this game. Well. And that is that once you get second, third, or fourth, you can then no longer get the first amount of prize money. You can't go back and get it again. And there's a finite amount of money in this game to improve your ship. Well, better save state. So, uh, yeah, you pretty much have to be sure you come in first, and you have to uh, go so for the winner you know takes all come in, in order to get your money. To if you if you know you're not going to uh, to get in first place, do you pause just, and reset? Uh, yeah, that that's the way does, to do it. Does it auto save if you if you once you cross the finish line? Can you just like if you hit the finish line, go oh fuck and I, hit reset? I, I, I don't know. Well, don't don't ah, risk it then. Oh, Annie! <laughs> I thought somebody died. That sounded, like a, I got that sounded like a generic. We got everything you need. It's a Watto. <laughs> Prepare to hear a lot of this voice. The whole stream. Uh, is, doesn't the junkyard have the best parts? Uh, I think what? you can get parts at a discount, but it's random what is available there. Oh. Uh, and they also might be damaged. I think you need to, like, uh, use your, your pair droids to get them. Buy. Or something. Why oh, fuck. <laughs> Why nobody buy? This was my <laughs> entire childhood exposure to Star Wars, I'll add. This, was, this game. It was just this. And you th <laughs> Eventually, I watched the, the original movie, Episode 4, and I, I didn't like it, so I never watched any others. Oh, God. Look how scary! So the maps open by highlighting the scariest part of the track, and I guess this track doesn't have any of those, so it just went to the front line. I don't remember if there's a way to boost. This. There is. I mean, the out of the starting gate. So how you boost normally is once you're at a fast enough speed for it to be green, you hold up, and then it goes yellow. And then you tap the tap the go button again, the accelerate. Yeah, it's it's very, a little it's very odd. It's something that doesn't really happen in other racing games. And if you're not careful, you can overheat and explode. Yeah, and if that happens, that's uh, you just it, you, once you once your engine's on fire, you gotta repair it. Once no, once it's on fire, it's it's done. Uh, there's a way you can you can repair engines in this game. You can repair engines that are damaged from knocking in, running into stuff, and we'll see that as uh, see that left display is how damaged our engines are. Yeah. But once it's on fire, it's done. It's just a time a countdown until you explode. I thought there was a way you could put it out, like if you just did the repair with. Uh, I guess it's a new wrong. lap record. Thank you, announcer. New. It's a new lap record. New Intergalactic life. Kicker! <laughs> wrong, wrong space movie. <laughs> Dad was an absolute Star Wars nut, so I grew up with everything surrounding it. Oh, yeah, that happens. Yeah. Rocking the uh, F Zero like speeds near 500 miles this, an hour. Can you imagine the original Star Wars trilogy, except the Enterprise is lost in, uh, in that section of space? Just, they did just run in as a cameo crossover with the... <laughs> Number one, this... Well, no, that doesn't make sense, because Star Wars was a, a long time ago, in a galaxy far away. Yeah, they space travel through... They time travel through a wormhole. Oh, okay, that makes sense. It happens in, in Star Trek. Oh, hey, uh, this is unrelated to Star Wars, but you remember Yandere, Dev? I do, yes. He's a very Apparently, popular guy. It's a new lap record! New lap record! Relapse, huh? Okay. Um, yeah, apparently 
you heard about his meltdown, right? Oh, that happened? Something happened, like, like he's never gonna... So this guy... He's, I know he's been fighting the fans for a long time, right? Yeah, yeah, he has. That's the point, you don't... That doesn't ever help your case if you just go go to town with fans. Even if it's, like, for, for a perceived legit reason. Yeah. That's why Nintendo just doesn't talk to theirs. <laughs> Wait! Hold on, this this track isn't accurate. Where is the fucking uh where are the fucking uh, sand uh, shoot, shooting at you? The sand what? Yeah, in episode one there were like a bunch of sand people just shooting at uh pod racers. By the way, I just I just remembered something funny. So So in a <laughs> Okay Anakin, good, good for you. Yeah. <laughs> new lap record. Thank you, announcer. So, in episode four, Obi Wan Kenobi is seeing like, like a destroyed uh, Jawa, uh, like, walk crawl hmm, sand wait. crawler. <laughs> so, uh, Bozzy Baranta, looks like a Bozzy. Nevak Key. Yeah. Hey, it's Bullseye. This looks like a ho an old homeless man. What Toy the fuck is Fud Sang? Fud Sang. Elmer Fudd. He looks like a creepy pasta character. <laughs> He's not that creepy. Anyway, my story. Okay, go on. So, so uh, Obi Wan Kenobi was seeing this destroyed Jawa sand crawler, and and every and then Luke was like, "Hey, the sand people must have gotten him." And then he's looking at, he's like. Look at these! Look at these blast marks. Too accurate for sand people. And then in episode one, you see sand people, and they're just hitting a bunch of six hundred mile per hour like pod racers, almost expertly. So it must have been uh, stormtroopers. Yeah, they must have been stormtroopers. They're much more guys. accurate. <laughs> yeah, that's a double stormtroopers. The pinnacle of. <laughs> I think yeah, I think Obi Wan was just racist against uh, sand people. Jack, we're in high res. Oh. oh wait, wait! You could change the resolution in N sixty four game. Why? Uh, there. What? There's no difference in system specs. Every system is identical. Unless they were, unless it was like a performance thing, where it's like you want high performance or or low performance. Better like better frame rates at the cost of worse models. Yeah. Okay. So Superman sixty four did something similar where you can lower like the size of the screen in order to like increase frame rate. And apparently, speedrunners of that game would just play yeah, at like at like ten percent in order to get the best times. Yeah, you're good, Anakin. You think you're gonna beat Sebulba with that pod racer of yours? Yes. We did. I just did. So we're on another planet now. Also, nothing noteworthy about this. Is the this is the if I remember right, this is the baby park track. It's just a circle. I'll, I'll figure it out. Maybe. Oh, I can change the map. Oh, you can. Oh, you can do it uh, like uh, in that. Uh... Yeah, that style. It's like that's like uh, Super Mario Kart style. Are you in first place already? Uh, yeah. That's a lot of options. They, they were thinking about this game. Who who made this game? Uh, give me a moment. It's only it's Flash Lucas Arts, so is it a totally? I think it's yeah. I think it's dev? just Lu it's just Lucas Arts. Lucas Arts were in house for a while. They were just, uh, yeah, they were just a company, and then they got disbanded. I'm because... sorry, 12th place. Whoa! Oh, it's kind of distracting. I'll leave the regular map, or just no map. What do you think? The regular map's fine. It tells you where you're going to turn. It's more useful. It's a new lap record! No one's seeing it. This map just is shorter. Oh, yeah. It's also in a city. So, the Empire... No, there's no Empire in, in Episode 1. It's just the Republic and Trade Federation. Yeah. So, the Republic is allowing these, like, high-risk, uh... Essentially... Yeah, what? Formula what? 1 on crack. It's a new you might say Formula Zero. Formula Zero. 
Uh, because they're using element zero to like propel themselves it's at like this F zero, Jack. How old were you when you realized that these were a parallel for chariots? Uh, just now, actually. Yeah. Star Chariot. Wars is just old wizard stuff. It's swords hey, and sorcery, new... but in space. <laughs> See that the engines are the horses. It's ch they're chariots. Chariot races, but but with giant fucking engines. That is more dangerous than actual chariot racing. Oh, that's a good one, Ben Quadinaros. About okay, so that uh, that one uh, fight scene in JoJo Part Two, where they were doing chariot battles, except yeah. uh, instead of horses, it was fucking pot racing. Good luck. <laughs> Now this is hormone fighting! <laughs> Here we go, here's where the levels are starting to actually what? differ. Is this fucking- is this fucking Stonehead? It's this hot! Looks like Stone, this looks like Stonehead Temple! The track favorite is From like Majora's Mask, we can see morons in the background! Neil deGrasse Tyson hates sure the idea of lightsabers because they're impractical. Such a cool though! What? That's kind of the point, is that oh. they had to try to make, because it is swords and sorcery, but in space, they had to try to give a reason to be using swords instead of guns. So I what guess they just, they made the guns useless was the idea. What do you think is the polar opposite of Star Wars? Uh, I guess that would be like if you took sci-fi elements and tried to revert them to uh, to a medieval setting, right? Oh yeah, so Final Fantasy. I guess. I mean, that after a point, that just became straight up steampunk. Yeah, especially seven. I have. Like, what, what are seven some? Is. What are some sci-fi elements? Uh, aliens. Space travel. Yeah. So it would have to. Would be like traveling to different worlds through portals. You just exploded. Magical yeah, portals. I did do that. Yeah. Oh, so so that's basically just Baldur's Gate then. Yeah. Or not Baldur's Gate. No. Nope. Realms. It's like the. It's like the Home Alone guy swearing. Got it. Got it. Joe Pesci. Joe Pesci. Where we're uh, going, we don't need roads. Uh oh! I missed. Oh, yeah, that's right. You can just take out one engine, and you're still in first place despite losing two pot racers. Okay, we've got a very efficient pit crew. So some of these tracks are on the same tracks just modified. Not many, but a few. We will uh, see the same planets returning, and the last set of tracks is just incredibly balls difficult. I've never cleared them. I met oh you haven't. No. I have never I have completed F Zero GX on the hardest difficulty. I have never bothered to completely complete this game. Oh, by the way, uh, this game holds the Guinness record as the best selling sci fi racing game. That's a very specific category. It beat, it beat Wipeout and F Zero. Okay. F Zero sold, but it wasn't not enough to stay, you know, within Nintendo's good graces, unfortunately. Well, somebody can just. Uh... GX was not a commercial failure. I guess it was just. It was too yeah, much. Yeah, we don't want to. We don't want to risk diminishing returns. There's a lot of effort put together. They had to collaborate with Sega. And they love their oh, gimmicks. You know, if we can't put a gimmick on it, why bother? Wait a minute! I just re- Are you- Is there ice physics? Yes, there is very- Oh, they're not touching the ground! Yeah. What is- What tracks? You tra there's traction for a hovercraft? Are you serious? There are ice physics, and they're... Pretty unforgiving. <laughs> this game has- yeah, I, I would say this game has the second worst ice physics after Spyro. And Crash is also up there. Crash has notoriously unfun ice physics. Ice physics in general just aren't fun. Even in, in like, if it's well implemented, it's still an annoyance. Yeah. I'm just listing some especially bad ones. Oh, so I can use the 
R button to repair, and that will slowly, yeah. slowly dra down dramatically. That's how you put out the. Uh, you the cannot put fires. yourself out once you're ex on fire, Jack. I'm telling you. I was you. able. I was able to do it though. I yeah, swear. Well, you know what? We'll try it at some point in this stream. Oh, I missed the shortcut. Do it in, in like free mode. Don't do it during like an action. Come on, it's work! It's working! It's working! Thank you, Anakin. <laughs> Anakin, Anakin is, is cheerful. Like. If, if Anakin was played by a better child actor, or hell, don't even make him make him a teenager. Is he that bad? Engines, I don't know. You should probably repair your engine. Yeah, I know. I want to get through the cave first. It's working. It's working. It's working. Yeah, it, it's working. It's working. Do you feel free to uh, read the chat, Jack, because I can't really pay attention to it. By the way. Oh, I don't have chat up. I see Darian and I think Sandy showed up. Hello, Sandy. I see Charles as well. I'm getting chat up. I'll uh, respond. Uh, ice physics? Ah! <laughs> He's drifting. Some oh, hey, we got a, we got a. Uh... All right, let's watch Jack. Okay, engine's on fire. I'm hitting repair. All right, you're right. You're right. Yeah, I, I, damn right I'm right. Jet Moto also had less sliding. I've never played Jet Moto. Oh, you know what that ice should give? Really? Yeah. I don't know. Ice is pretty hard. Deceptively so. Also, on uh, on Twitch, the game is running really smooth. Oh, that's good. As opposed to, it's probably, yeah, it's screen. I have screen share on Discord set to like 15 FPS to save bandwidth. Yeah, that's it, that's what it seems like. I thought it was native, but no. I won. That is really good, actually. Holy shit. I'm like, you know what? For being an emulated game, this is actually playing pretty nice. And then I'm seeing it on, on Twitch and <laughs> Jet Motor 2 is awesome. Please play it. I got it. I unlocked the person. Just a bunch of characters you don't fucking care about. Hey, they a have bunch different of stats. You know what? Just have, just have fucking like all the Star Wars characters. You don't have to be lore accurate. Mahonic. It's just a goat. Kleeg Holdfast. Arc Bumpy Roos. It's Eustace. It's Arc. Eustace Bag as an alien. <laughs> Muriel, where's my spanner? Bolus Roar. Just dinosaur. From the show Dinosaurs. <laughs> Clegg holds fast. Looks like a sea slide. monkey. Paramita. Slide. It's much smoother than Jet Moto 2. They must have put some bucks behind this game. It's impressive that it it's is a, apparently in studio. It's it a Star be. Wars game released during the prequel trilogy. They had all the money in the universe. Is. Nope, hey, not getting out of my pod. <laughs> Does, do any of you remember how to uh, boost out of the start if you can? Or you want to look that up for me, maybe? Fuck you! This is a really, this is looks really good for being an N64 game. I... Oh, yeah. Here's the fun part. Where are the gates? I know they're coming up. No, no gates, just caves. You can also control your air air movement a little bit. Like you, you can control your, your you air movement. Go on. But you can't. But you can't like. But you can't. You gain still slide on, on ice. I, that is so weird. I wonder what the in-universe explanation for that is. Here they are. You can like uh, tilt up. To stay in the air a little longer, which Mario Kart did in the when they added the gliding and such. 
So this predates a Mario Kart game. I hate how Nintendo's just trying to shove all the racing mechanics into Mario Kart and say that's good enough. Give me F Zero, we, damn it! We need one RPG game, one adventure game, one shooting game. We have one to consolidate of everything. everything into one series so that everyone buys that. We got to. That's unlike Platinum, where they just have one game type and they and they just spread it out over multiple series. Yeah. Actually, that's not fair. Vanquish was a third-person shooter. And pretty good too, from what I heard. I think this seems like this level seems like a nightmare to navigate. I don't. Rem I don't think there's drifting in this. Uh, there is. I don't remember how to do it though. There's an air break. It's a new come on, come on, come on, work! Maybe that's, maybe that's it. Come on, work! I tried pressing it's Z working. and that doesn't seem to do anything. It's working! How does... By, by the way, how does the... You hit the brake and then the, the flaps open? Air brake. In the opposite direction? Because... Like, you'd think they would open towards the wind in order to slow it down. Also, they well, open... Well, if you do that, then the, then the things are just going to fly off. Also, they open when you're turning? I, I don't understand the purpose of the flaps. Yeah, you just... you gain... This is my turning flap. <laughs> I mean, it's not like you can break the traditional way. There's no friction. Unless there is. Only on <laughs> ice. Only on ice. There's extra no friction on ice. Whee! I don't know if there's any benefit to staying in the air longer or not. In Mario Kart, you go faster in the air. That's strange. It's a little strange. It's not quite as strange as getting a speed boost from ramming into someone on zero grav terrain, though. They just, they, they saw Beyblades and they're like, hey, this is a cool mechanic that we could do for a racing game. If you hit each other, both people get a speed boost. Everyone wins. Yeah, but uh, the difference is that Beyblades has the ability to part the sea. Yeah, the and that's Red how sea. Uh, Moses crossed the fucking Red Sea. Canon <laughs> lore. I, I, don't, I don't know if Mario could part the Red Sea using a racing cart, but we haven't seen that track yet. Anakin Skywalker, he really had no business doing what he did in the first movie. He was just some a, kid. And winning a plot like, hey. race and then saving the day in a fighter jet. <laughs> fight. <laughs> yeah, wasn't it? When he took that F-16 and flew it and blew up that, that moon base? Didn't he, no. didn't he, like, fly into the war at the end and save the day or something? Yeah, basically what happened is, uh, is they told him, hey, stay in this cockpit, you'll be safe. And then he saw that uh, that a bunch of highly advanced uh, like robots were attacking at personal shields, so he got a bigger gun and turned the the, the uh, fighter on and destroyed them. And then he flew off to the base because he was on autopilot. And then he's in the air and he doesn't know how to fly. And then <laughs> one of the best parts, the funniest parts, was him just. Uh, just trying to maneuver, and then he goes, How about spinning? That's a good trick! Yeah. Yeah. And R2-D2 was with him. Because, uh, why is that, not? Is that when the, yeah, this is, now this is pod racing line happens? Or is that during the actual pod racing? Yeah, yeah, it was after he started blowing up the base and he flies off, he goes, Now this is pod racing! A-plus Anakin impression. <laughs> You know what? He had more emotion when he was a kid than he what than he did as a, as an angsty teenager. Yeah. So that was Imagine the same actor as adult Anakin. No, uh, Hayden Christensen versus uh, versus kid who was in uh, Sixth Sense, I believe. I'm sorry. I'm doing. I'm doing. I'm racing at 500 miles an hour, Charles. I can't read chat. Imagine a game built off of Majora's Mask Gore on racing mechanic. That's just... That's like Super Monkey Ball, but a racer. There's a... Oh, so Rock of Ages. Uh, there's a... A similar thing to Gore on races in Mario Odyssey. 
It's like Goron races, but bouncy. Ba oh, you're just racing. <laughs> Fan theory. Anakin Skywalker is on the autism spectrum. No, because he was... I don't know. Maybe. Who cares? I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't think so. Big jump also, level. He, yeah. Wait. Look at that high, high detail thing. The current record holder for this track is... It's a pretty good looking model for the character, though, in the cockpit. Oh. Yeah, I, I don't, still don't know how to blast out of it. Let me take, drink your coffee. Yeah, get you, get yourself some uh, some game fuel. Gamer fuel, Mountain Dew infused. I got some, uh, I got some coffee flavored protein shake recently. Oh God, how did that taste? Not terrible, but not great either. Yeah, that's, tastes like that's a, protein a protein shake. shake. And I also got V8 Energy. So it was on sale. I haven't tried that yet. V8 Energy. So it's vegetable juice, but it also. Is Should I have traction on this? I'm not sure. Oh, I died. Wait, <laughs> that was too sharp a turn. Can he say that? I don't think he can say that on Twitch. The. <laughs> How do, you, how do you do alien language? You just swear in Portuguese, and then you got it. Booba? What did you it's call me? Booba. That's a Bulba. Uh, no, I think... So Bulba rarely participates in these. It's just Tatooine and, like, one later one. Oh, I think, I, think I need to boost to make this. Fortunately, you can make... No, you don't, because you just end up on the other side. Well, yeah. Yeah. Shark turn. Ah! Ow. Still in first. I don't think there's a... You can't really set the difficulty. So the first world is just a joke, and then it's gonna just get balls to the it's ball hard by the record. end. It's 64 having highly detailed models. Yeah. More detailed than PlayStation 1. Ah! PlayStation was 32-bit. But... It could store more data on a disc. That was its main strength than uh, cartridges okay. could. Cartridges couldn't store data, but man, look at them. Look Seriously, at them. though, what is this? It's ra it's radioactive sludge, oh, I guess. Okay. I got traction on that. Remember to boost when you can. You're not my fucking mother! No, I'm in for the jump. Not enough! No! I gotta be boosting when I jump it. Wow, that's very tight. Puts Especially since there's a back. turn right before I can't, it. I'm not, I'm not, we're not at the same location. I can't, like... Is he telling you to, to take over? Yeah, put, put some kick-ass music on. That's right, I it's can't. not playing anything right now. This level doesn't warrant record. cool music. Well, there we go. Once you hit the, the oh. final lap, it kicks in. Yeah, the first two are just... Oh, the tension! Could I lose? Maybe. Well, maybe. They're, they're not that far behind. By the way, I like the, I like the, the fake <laughs> flags. Yeah. They, they even represent anything. They don't seem to represent anything. I don't remember when the jump is coming up. It's after the tunnel. What is this? There's, oh, this one shows branching paths. <laughs> yeah, and was, you're in third. I was fucking with the map. Yeah. You, you shouldn't have done that. That's just my opinion. God damn it! Whoa! I don't think you're gonna make it. You should just reset. How far am I? I don't know. Ah! Nope. Yeah, it's <laughs> nope. <laughs> you just had to clinch it and you the failed. Dud Bolt is on the track today. Oh, he is Dud Bolt. Be tough to beat. That looked like a graphical glitch. 
that uh, how the plasma appears in front of the racers or something. So you can't even finish like certain tracks. Uh, if I had gotten second, then I would have gotten zero money. And no, uh, I know that. I mean, but later on, you, there are some tracks you just can't even complete. What do you mean? Like without dying? Yeah. Uh, no. I probably could have made the jump if I had, like, better stats. Uh -oh. Repair! Repair! That's probably what you thought you could repair out of. Well, I was aware of that. I thought also the fire you could repair. Who so thought it was a good idea to do what? Uh... I forgot. <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say. The chat. Oh. Oh, okay. I hold up, held up, and I just barely made it. Or I held down, rather. Oh. Uh, I'm guessing it's to, it's to increase the tension. Because that's how you know you're on the last track, so people can't it's a new forget. Record. What? I thought I still had one more tr track. More lap play the same track in low quality. Is it the same track? I mean, there's only so much uh, John Williams you can fit on an N64 cartridge. So when did Danny DeVito, not Danny DeVito, uh, Danny DeVito in Star Wars. Danny Elfman like, took over at some point after Williams, didn't he? In the movies? Did, did he? No? No? I don't think so. Family Guy made that joke, so I just assumed it was based on something that happened in Star Wars. You you, you taking your uh, you're taking your basis of reality from Family Guy. That's your first problem. Phantom Menace has only so much intensity. It's Duel the Fates and it induced. I found uh, somebody slowed down Duel the Fates by 800% using a yeah. stretch. It sounded good in theory. Bueno. Some, uh, some fantasy music. So appropriate to if it was not modified to be in space. What does not simply walk into the Death Star? Yeah, you gotta you gotta be tracked again. Uh, top 10 anime characters who can destroy the Death Star by themselves. Plenty, probably. Play, uh, a bo uh, bonus. Only one of them can come from DBZ. Okay. Oh, you're asking me to think about it. I thought yeah. that was actual, like, list you were looking at. And you missed, you failed to, oh, I'm you fine. didn't even it that time. See, the repair helps, because now I can make the turn easier. Multitasking. Yes, I can't wait. I'm super lazy with the soundtrack. Uh, only... Genkai mentioned at one point, Hey, Yusuke could destroy the whole damn world if he wanted to. It's a new and I don't know how literal she was being. <laughs> About as literal as uh, somebody saying, no, nobody can, Nothing can kill him, not even a nuke. Although, considering Yuchiro how... Yuchiro Hanma versus the Death Star. Yeah, he can apparently stop earthquakes by punching the ground, so... Uvo oh, yeah. 4. Not not UFO, not UFO, Uvo. Uvo, Keen. Oh, it's that thing. Well, Pop, I could better unlock him. Uh, so just, number one, any DBZ character, obviously. Uh, Gurren yeah. Logon? Yeah. Uh, for the, for this just take it like like a golf ball and throw it at something and then it's destroyed. Uh, laughing man. Yes. Laughing man can hack the Death Star and have it self destruct. Do you think it has a self destruct function? That's a gamble. I'm sure it does. Like, or at the very least, you could overload key systems and cause a chain reaction. Huh? What if there are safeguards in place, Jack? 
I'm sure that dude the knew Death Star <laughs> is a finely designed, flawless piece of technology with no weaknesses. Apparently, they uh, they explained the thermal exhaust port weakness in uh, in Rogue One, a Star Wars story. Apparently, the dude purposely designed. To, yeah, just hit every wall. Go for it. It's harder than. Is this going to be the rest of the stream? <laughs> no, it's a hard game. I know. Only Rogue racing one. at 500 miles an hour, narrow corridors. No, it, it, the theory behind Rogue One was that the dude purposely installed it because he wanted, yeah, sabotage. Hey, Borska! Borska! It's my Borscht. God. It's working. Not, not Are we in space? I guess. Aren't we always? Oh what no! Well, I killed him on? too. I mean, it's also a game with interesting, like, mechanics and the tracks and such, and also death. Lots of death. Yeah. Dying. No, I mean, like, you know, not on a planet. You're you're on a space station with apparently no atmospheric shielding at all. It's a good thing you can infinitely respawn. Yeah, unlike F-Zero. They said that no human uh, could... Like do pod racing because uh, because your reflexes weren't enough. Clearly, <laughs> what, what were they saying, Jack? <laughs> no one human could. This is still the first lap. Chuba, ka. No, he's not till later. So yeah, why not? So back to what I was saying before. Why not just do episode one racer? And, but you could have, but all the other characters are like other Star, well-known Star Wars characters, and you just have like lines from them. That would be that would be fun. Maybe in the Steam that version. More Apparently, Vader, murder human pod racer, was set out to do Anakin Skywalker. <laughs> That's incredibly petty, even for Vader. No, no one can beat my old records. Fuck you, pod racer. <laughs> God. I like Rogue One because uh, uh, in uh, Rogue One, Vader had a, had a castle on like on like the lava planet he was burned on. The one the one place you'd really want to remember, make a home. For. <laughs> yeah, he's a Sith. Gives him power. I'm sorry about your engine, by the way. It's working. It's working. <laughs> it's looking a little bit rough. Yeah, no shit. Imagine, Tatooine was a blue milk run. This, on the other hand, this fucking space station. I think I'm going to the wrong side of that. Let's try this again. Yeah, let's. Okay, new plan. I get ahead as early as possible, and I stay there. That, that worked out for the rest of your races. Am I doing it? Space F1, because Space... You know what Space NASCAR is? It's just them in, like, Hoth bikes, and they're... Or Hoth, uh, like, uh... Speeders, and just racing around a circle forever. Technically, that's also F1. F1... F1 doesn't... It's F Zero. When was the prequel trilogy? It was early two thousands. It was the two thousand. It was the two thousand baby. Yeah. Hey! When was F Zero? I think that was that was late nineties. Nineties, yeah, late nineties. So clearly, uh, Star Wars ripped off. Uh, clearly, my favorite part is when Vader does the Falcon punch. Oh, Captain Planet. Does he count as an anime character? Uh... I hear he punches a hole in a galaxy, so he could probably take on the Death Star. Uh, Darian wants to know if you plan on beating this game, or just playing no. it until you're bored of it. <laughs> yeah, you can't beat this game, you mentioned that already. I mean, I could if I, like, grinded on it for a what length of time. What is going on with this section? I 
don't know. Is this just know. no gravity? But yeah, it's just no gravity. I also cannot avoid hitting everything. You can if you weren't a, a, a stupid human. Oh. If you were an alien with faster reflexes. Or perhaps even a robot. Pence Minutes was late 90s. Was it? Uh, I guess so. Yeah, because uh, episode one... Yeah, in 64, you know, the timeline matches up. Fuck you! Where's first? I'm looking for first. I'm out for blood. It's a new Thank you, announcer. He is way ahead of you. Narrow ass passageways. Okay, I got another one. They are narrow and ass. Top top ten uh, anime sword fighters. You could beat Darth Vader. Dark, the dark, Star Wars is still like the same problem as magic and other medieval shit, though. It's just vague as hell. Is the Force? So what, what can the Darth Vader do? He can force choke people. He has a lightsaber. God, he's got uh, that armor is not just for show. It can take some some damage. Gallery, sort of light. Like, could Kenshin beat Darth Vader? Probably. I mean, he's very very skilled. Yeah, he has to have a, rever a reverse fiber blade sword. He does have a reverse blade sword, so that's kind of. Uh, I I'm gonna put a yeah. maybe on Kenshin. That's a hard sell. I definitely think Gallery from Slayers. Uh, obviously, anyone. From most anyone from Bleach. You imagine Darth Zorro. Vader as a fucking. You imagine Darth Vader as as a fucking uh, Soul Reaper. No. <laughs> uh, it, it makes me laugh just thinking about it. Just Yajirobe. him in his mask. With... Yajirobe. Yajirobe oh yeah. Vader. Made him fucking out. What? Stronger than. Random fuck mountain man is stronger than than Dark Lord of the Sith. Ow! Oh, that was a big loss of speed. So uh, I'm struggling now without an upgraded vehicle. Yeah, you probably should upgrade a vehicle. Maybe not this one. Is your racer? Unlocked yet? No, if I if he was, I would have put, switched to him. Oh wow! I don't I don't think so. I'm, I'm looking for a bullseye. Coming through! You made it! Good job! I was in first for a brief, but a brief moment. Be coming through. You think? You think? Uh, you think Ratchet it would be able to pull off pod racing? I'm sure. This guy's great with tech and with gear. You guys probably would have had more fun with Star Wars Rogue Squadron. I probably would have. I like uh, myself a good uh, space shooter. I don't. I don't like shooters, so uh, probably not me. I, I, I enjoy him. Hope Squadron was fun. I had a lot of fun with that game. Okay. Oh, uh, I'm so not gonna boost unless I have to, because I die if I boost here. Yeah, it's a boost too thin. How do I survive oh! that? <laughs> it doesn't kill anyone else. Well, gotta boost now. Well, I mean, and die again. To. I don't remember so struggling what, with this level. So what Qui-Gon did uh, with Anakin, did, did that count, does that count as uh, kidnapping? Uh, I mean, who had the rights to him? His mom, but he could only, he could only take one of them. Didn't Anakin, like, want to go become a Jedi? I don't think you're gonna make it. Well, you might actually. Don't crash! No, you're not. Wow.
So I guess you're just gonna have to upgrade Anakin. I don't think I have the dude. Team Maybe you do. Aldar. And after, I remember after the first world, you get, uh... Oh, I can go to the others. Oh! I have access to the first three worlds. I could have I could have gotten Bullseye immediately. I'll do it. Oh, all right, level change. Anakin was a slave, and the blue alien dude bet him. Watto? Yeah. Yeah, basically, he rolled the dice. He's like, okay, if it lands on this, you get the boy. If it lands on this, you get the mom. this junkyard slave isn't even old enough to shave. Hey, 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 you, you want some, want some cheat codes? Oh, this is a variation what? of a previous track. Hey, you want some cheat codes? I, I got, I got cheat codes. I don't want cheat codes, Jack. That's also where most of my episode one knowledge comes from, is the Weird Al parody of American Pie. Yeah. So... Make Jabba the Hutt play. <laughs> they put him in the big biggest <laughs> pod. <laughs> he has like four engines. Dark Vader as like, in like, Pod racer. He just has all black and it's red and glowing. And then and then he, he loses one inch and he just goes, No! That would be his death rattle, yes. Yeah. The, the Emperor. No! <laughs> Why not do that? You gotta make all the dark all the Star Wars games dead serious. Do they not do that in the other ones? No! All the Star Wars games are just serious all the time. You can't make any goofy Star Wars games. Yeah. This is Lego Star Wars. No, you gotta yeah. build the lore and the world building, Jack. It's very important that everything fits in the timeline, just so. Lego Star Wars Episode One Racing. Oh, hey, there's crowds. Can't you, the pixel crowds. Hello, crowds. That's negligence, just having a crowd in the middle. Like, what happens if an <laughs> engine just comes off? That's why you, that's why they're in the splatter zone. I'm reminded of uh, of red line. Oh man! I barely I barely remember that movie. Unfortunately, I love I love that movie. That movie was gorgeous. Didn't it have Patrick Seitz as the main character? Yeah. Yeah. With his uh, giant twelve foot pompadour. Yeah, and a. Uh, in a normal looking car. Oh man, Anakin participating in the red line tournament. I don't remember how Let's fast those went, or if we got any indication of that. Uh oh. That's fine. That was at an angle. It's a new lap record. Oh, you could unlock characters if you on, have uh, other characters by uh, by inputting a password. It's working. It's working. Well, you unlock you the unlock characters a... by beating their tracks. As well. No, they're... what? Huh? Apparently, there are a couple characters that are only unlocked. Super by Pod Racing code. Ultimate, but characters randomly explode. Somebody planted a bomb in it, like like in Red Line. Unfortunately, didn't help you to win. Yeah, the thing about Red Line is that they were gonna fly on like a on like a planet that was under military control, and yeah. uh, that's where they were gonna race. And then what they found out too, the racers dropped out immediately. That's Except part of the thrill, them. though. Yeah, well, not for them. They're like, no, fuck that. I'm gonna guess that no one from Naruto or One Piece could take out the Death Star. 
Well, maybe maybe Team Seven could. They'd have to infiltrate and then plant the plant explosive tags and then get the fuck out. Well, if we're talking about like a, a full storyline, then almost any anime hero could be written to take out the Death Star. Oh God, an Ur the Naruto filler arc. I, uh, I assumed we were talking about people who could just like blow it up. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Did Guru take out the, the, the Death Star? No. If there's an argument about whether like Yusuke could at the very tail end of the series after Sensui, then definitely not Guru. I'm sure there's somewhere in the history of the series, there's some JoJo stand with a power perfectly suited to taking out a space station. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, except it's uh, them having to take out Dio at the, at the Death Star. Same for Hunter. Hunter and JoJo have weird, arbitrary, broken powers all over the place. Going in Karafka. They're going into and Kilua. Trying to take out the Death Star. That would be that would be an interesting arc. I would love to see that. Them Meruem. fighting storm. Them Meruem could take out well, the Death Star, maybe. At the very least, you could kill everybody on the Death Star and take it for his own. Oh, well, that's true. Like Storm. I don't think even Darth Vader could take out Meruem. I know. I would just say definitely not. It's working. Okay, so if Darth Vader had a stand, what stand would he have? Naruto is confirmed small moon level. Does, does, does he what? blow up a moon in Naruto? <laughs> yeah, what the hell is that? Does the moon, moon get destroyed in Shippuden? Did someone turn into an Uzaru? Oh, Tailed Beast, okay. Tailed Beast Bomb. Is that where he absorbs the power from nature around him in a totally not spirit bomb move? Because I heard that happens in Naruto. Okay. We could say Dragon Ball Z characters could easily take down the Death Star, but what about Dragon Ball characters? Roshi blew up the moon. <laughs> the Death Star's are like over like uh, Dragon Ball Moon, Dragon Ball Earth, and then Roshi's like, ah, man. <laughs> and that's and all she wrote. And of course, even just towards the end of Dragon Ball, Piccolo was already basically a DBZ character. Sorry, Ma Jr. That was his, uh, his assumed name. Like, prior to King Piccolo, it was just a bunch of human army dudes, so that was not, uh... They caught up to me somehow. So if... Uh... Does this game have rubber band AI? No. Are we sure about that? F Zero does. It's, no, they took a they took a shortcut that I didn't, and it must have been uh, more of a cut than I thought. Here's a question: If Darth Vader had a stand, what stand would he have? Uh, have like the name of the music parody. Jedi Guide. No, that's too. <laughs> Dark side of the moon. Yeah, sure. That's no moon. <laughs> it's an enemy stand. <laughs> of course, Palpatine would have uh, the times, the time affecting ability one. Cause all JoJo villains have time ability. Every single stands. one gotta be. <laughs> I'm afraid to slow down. Close. How much longer? How much more is there? Take one bad hit on that right engine, it's all over. I know that, but if I slow down, they're gonna catch up. They're already catching up. Fair enough. Probably boost in a second once you get the next straightaway. There isn't a straightaway. There's this. Okay, I'm fine. Yeah, apparently there are just two characters that uh, that are only unlockable by password. Sai Yunga and Jin Rizo. Oh boy, my favorite Star Wars characters. 
But you have to have uh, Bullseye and Mars Guo, respectively. What, do they replace them? I don't know. Who the fuck is Cy Younger? Why not have, like, uh... Why not have Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon? <laughs> no! <laughs> uh, that, that, that's our alternate universe fun Star Wars game. We can't have that. Eh. Those were the two, right? Cy Yunga was an alien pod racer pilot who was active during the year 32 BBY. <laughs> Piloted a red and white pod racer during his career, which included at least one race to the outer, on the outer rim planet Tatooine. Is also spanned. Oh God, damn! How does how do you know this Wikipedia? Wikipedia. There he is. Uh. Yeah, Bullseye's. He's got got some good stats. I think the turning was the main thing I, I usually looked at, and Bullseye's got. You can even buy generally good stats, but you can buy stuff to increase his top speed even. Yeah. Make him even more broken. You should do that. Buy stuff for for him if he's Power your main gorge. character. By the way, you should try unlocking that one dude. What one dude? Since you can now, Sai Yunga. But what if he replaces Bullseye? But what if he's better than Bullseye? What's uh, okay? How do you how do you do the password? Uh, you gotta go to the naming file screen while holding Z and pressing L, and then enter stuff. Okay. Okay. Wait. What the fuck? I'm, I'm listening. Type these. Type it. How? What? Is, is this for the PC version and not the N64? That that doesn't make it. Oh wait, hold on. R R D. Okay. R R R. Down. C Y Y U N. Oh, how the fuck does that work? Hold on. That makes no fucking sense. Wait, choose any empty slot, and when the initial screen appears, hold down the Z button and press L. So you have to go to an empty slot and then hold down Z and hit L and press L to enter the codes. So okay, go well, to I did R. That. You're holding down Z. Oh. Okay. Okay. So that's I see that's it. where it appears. All right. So All what, right, then. what is it? Uh, R R. C Y Y U N. United Nations. Well, I did it. I'll hit end. Yeah. And then, yeah, hit end, probably. End. Or, no, hit B. Or B or something. All right, now go to. He didn't replace him, so I guess hit FSS and see if he's back. Did it not work? No. Nope. Huh? Are you sure you That's don't weird. have to then play the file that you did that on? Guess not. I. Oh well. Oh well. Yeah, don't you want to upgrade your your vehicle? Make, make yeah, you have to speed? enter a track before you do that. Oh, really? Okay, that's... That's not, uh... You can buy, tri buy you pit droids to improve the repair. Of you anywhere, I think, uh, traction, uh, turning, top speed. Top speed. top speed needs something. Uh, huh? Yeah, I got the plug 5 <laughs> thrust coil. Chet, chet, got to know it's in I good condition, too. No you got a lot of cash. Got a lot of truggets. Yeah, that's right. They don't take Republic credits. Cooling. You're gonna lose unless you upgrade your pod racer, I think. Increase traction. How? You ban a pihota, Mindy. Just buying Control a whole bunch. Chat, chat, got to know all ya. Meet one and no pata. What's this air brake or cooling matter? Cooling probably. Oh man, some of those are damaged. Yeah. Well, you're gonna need to buy some repair droids to uh, to fix the shit that's in there. Is that how it works? I guess so. Look at the look at the green bar. What green bar? That green bar next to the spinning items. 
Why nobody buys? Notice how the one <clears throat> is like not so full and the other one is full. Oh yeah, I never Maybe noticed that's what the... that. I, mean, I thought the repair droids were for that. actual. Like in in wins, wins. the match. <laughs> well, maybe they are. Buy some pit droids just in case. Oh, you want to buy pit Make droids? Make faster repairs uh, to your damaged upgrade help parts. You fix your pod okay. Racer, you know. All the droids. Cool. Get to work, boys. All right, that's every penny well spent. We have the best racer now. Work faster! Oh, look at look at his walk. Everyone has a walk cycle. Look at this beautiful man <laughs> with his he beautiful looks, hair. He looks like he just uh, he just drinks tea in his downtime. I wonder what he sounds like. He has like a duck face, permanent duck face. <laughs> so, how you doing? You're doing the good oh, work. Good thing, you didn't, good thing you didn't unlock him. He apparently completely I'm replaces Bullseye, so there you go. Oh. I wonder if he's got comparable stats or something. Maybe. I don't know why they would do that. That's such a useless code. Who the fuck is Generizo as well? Jack, have you played the original Battlefront? Yeah, I have. It's fun. <laughs> Good start. I'm trying to break that rock because doing so opens a shortcut in uh, later laps. Ah. Oh, so this is the one you were trying to be to do before. Or no, so that, that's our voice now. Is whoa, whoa, whoa. woo! <laughs> Play as Watto. Can we play as Watto? Then in another Star Wars game, maybe. Play as Greedo. This is a very maze like track. God, but honestly, with tracks like these, I'm impressed that the the loop around map is able to accurately tell people's positions. Oh man, you're a glass cannon now. Do you remember my uh, the Mod Nation track, the crop circles? Yeah. How about that, how that was used? That made the game. Yeah! Oh my god! Oh, I fall fast if I don't hold down! I let go and I just started falling like a brick. Uh oh. Damn it! It's fine, you. They're nowhere near. Kind of near. Look at how far away you pull ahead, though, with the boost. Uh oh, no, they're gonna pull ahead, and then a tight corridor happens. Well, yeah, I mean, you, you made you bought damaged parts. I guess that makes you more vulnerable. I I turn too fast. I just fear. Just light taps, then. Tip tap. Alright, you're flag flapping. Rocking the uh, whatever flag I've so got going you on there. So essentially, you do have like a it's Formula One record. racer. They're not. They weren't known for turning. No, someone got the uh, the thing already. Or no, you know what you have? You have a drag racer. Yeah, I have a chariot. Excellent drifting on chariots, you know. Definitely built for maneuverability. Somebody put a warp core in his uh, in his pod racer, and now he's able to like like take off at like high speeds. Famous uh, gladiator quote: "If you be not out of control, you be not in control." <laughs> what if Star Wars was like a straight fantasy novel? That it would wouldn't be, be that, that would... different. It would just not be in space. That'd be the only difference. The Death Moon is a ritual that destroys cities. It would just be like a big, uh, it'd be like a giant monster or a, a flying citadel the Death that destroys fortress. cities. It'd be a flying magical wizard's castle. Somebody did, uh, 
did Star Wars as a steampunk story, but they actually changed elements of it to make it uh, to make it different. Like Luke knowing that Vader was his father, and Chewie, rather than being an alien creature, was a bear. Okay. And uh, what would Chewie be? Like an orc? In oh, that'd be cool. Fantasy? That would be cool, too. Then... Rito would be a goblin. Uh, Jabba the Hutt would be an ogre. What was the... What was the Star Wars Christmas holiday? Life Star Day. Star Wars holiday special, Life Day. Hey, you know, yeah, we're going to get back to my own country, celebrate Life Day. What do you think about that, old Solo? Get drunk with the fam! You can meet my oh, son! Is that his son? I guess it was. Oh man, you're just pulling ahead far. I got, even I got the super ahead. shortcut. You gotta break the rock and then the tent opens. That's signal. You break, you break the rock and then someone who lives in the tent comes out and goes, What the fuck was that? You broke my, my statue! That was sacred! <laughs> yeah, it seems like you're doing a lot better now that you're not Anakin, you're Bullseye. The only thing I'm struggling with is, is the turning. I got a very sudden, very sharp stat boost to everything. God, that would mean that Anakin would be racing in chariot races, wouldn't it? Whoa! Literally do a chariot thud. <laughs> it's drop like a rock. As soon as I let go of down. Mista. <laughs> Mista. Mista. Six pistols. Six bullets. What's it called <laughs> in English? Six. Uh, six bullets. Yeah. Can't can't do sex pistols. <laughs> oh man. That's how that's how they were able to hit. Yeah, it was just Mista all along shoot with uh, with uh, sex pistols. Oh yeah, he's a sand pe he's a sand person. He yeah, he's disguised as a one. Him and uh, whole horse. Strictly worse Mista whole horse. Yeah, but his uh, stand has less personality. Yeah, you really murdered that track. You know of the Jub Nub secret. Jump Nub? No? Is that in this game? Turns all the character what? models into short, stocky, Ewok sized models. The Empire will be defeated by Ewoks! Some weird models. Some with much bigger engines than others. I guess that's Skeleton Man. Rats Tyrell. Rats. His name is Rats. You get, uh, Gas Mask Man. <laughs> he looks like a demented, uh, Birdo. Like if somebody crossbred a Birdo with a Predator. I, I want to see Rats. Rats. Oh, he's teeny. Teeny dude, giant engines. <laughs> he's compensating for something. I, I kind of want to like go into the shops go. and see the models up close. Later, Charles. They all have walk cycles. He's got like a little visor on. <laughs> he looks like he's about to go to go play poker. Yeah. Beto, Eevee. I remember. I remember Eevee. Look, I liked his stats. He, he looked like a fucking weirdo. Eevee. <laughs> Creep me the fuck out. Yeah. Look at he those looks, lips. He looks like a devil. Ooh. 
looked like Alien Hisoka. He, he kind of looked like a Star Wars version of Mr. Mime to me. Oh, Anakin! Annie! Like a weird combination of Mr. Mime and Hisoka. Oh, the worst. Wait, uh, regular Mr. Mime or Galarian Mr. Mime? Oh, whichever. Gas. We want the tap dancer. Who else would be interesting to look at? I guess none of the others really stick out yet. Who was the Dud Bolt? That was the dude. No, Fud Sang was the creepy pasta looking dude. Fud. Only the best parts you find here in my shop. Huh? It's a downgrade, Watto. Oh, yeah. They come here. Only the best. They come Ooh, Max Sutter. Max Break. Max hey. Break. Cluster Power Plug. The best oh, repairs. That's cheap, actually. Something else? Have anything that can improve acceleration? Probably not. Gonna work on me. Only money. Like slightly. For uh, like five thousand. <laughs> yeah. Don't have no it. Good for you, huh? Even the more returning is already insanely Five's high. I don't think you need it. Yeah. Only probably money. not. I think these parts cycle around. Your banapihota, India. <clears throat> All right, what's this? Oh no, a straight path with lights. Elon Musk. A drag Just racing. This mysterious path racer. He sure oh yeah, he's the founder of Space Tesla. Wow. Wasn't the? Uh, I think I heard the announcers for the pod race in the movie. One of them was Greg Sipes from Who's Line. Was it? I didn't know that. That's funny. Greg Styles, you mean? No, Ryan Styles was Styles. Oh, Greg I Sykes. I think it was Greg Sykes. Uh, you'd have to look it up. Did that game just randomly decide to kill you? Uh, no, a rock fell in front of me and I didn't avoid it. Oh. Were you playing with your map again? <laughs> okay, that, there was no reason for that to happen. I'm gonna look at the stats because I want to know what these cheap, how good these cheap racers are. I mean, like the crash team racing, the hack racers, max all stats. Only the European version. In the American version, Penta Penguin has normal stats. There, oh, by the way, there's it's apparently new, something called record. dual control mode. But where you, like, hold two controllers? Yeah. Why? <laughs> Press up on both controllers to accelerate and back to steer. So it's like, it's tank controls. You're controlling each engine. Yeah. Innovative. Uh-oh. Yeah. I was already doing badly. I remember I wanted a character with really good turning because some of the later levels get like stupidly tight turns. Makes sense. Alright, got an early lead, just gotta keep it now. There's a, a narrow, tight, turny level I don't need to boost. Oh, there's Game Shark codes. What the fuck? I'm sure there are. It's an N64. What are some of the what are some of the codes? Uh have all tracks. All tracks finished in first. Have all characters. Start on lap three, always win. And uh infinite truggets. It's the, new lap. The payoff the announcer's mod. Comes in twelve. The winner is Bullseye Navar! The huts would murder people if that happened. The huts would literally just like you won't even find the body. Misa think this it. is a rigged. <laughs> they hadn't met Jar Jar yet. He can't be. He can't be here. He can't be playable. 
So, I had an idea for, like, a, a remake of Star Wars where you have all the episodes, but instead of, uh, instead of it being, uh, instead of it being, it's like, space fantasy, it's cyberpunk. Uh, you no just want everything to be cyberpunk. No, I don't! Don't be ridiculous. Just waiting for that cyberpunk Zelda, huh? That, that would actually be cool. But yeah, the I, I, I imagined uh, Jar Jar Binks as rather than being a Gungan, he goes, Pisa, do I want that? I just imagined him as like a crazed swamp hillbilly. Yeah. He goes, <laughs> doesn't know anything about hacking, he's just along for the ride. Yeah. And he becomes a respected senator somehow. Does that actually happen? Yeah, yeah, he's a, he's a politician in the second and third movies. <laughs> Apparently there was a rumor that he was planned to be like a secret Sith Lord. Yeah, I've heard about that. Life. But uh, I don't know if they dropped it or if they, or if it never happened. If people are reading too much into it, It'd be a very convoluted plan if he was trying, like, pretending to be an idiot lost in a swamp. Maybe he murdered record. another Jar Jar Binks and took his place, and was like, "Yeah, I can be a useful fucking idiot." Would you say Jack 2 is cyberpunk? It's uh, in a city, there's corrupt, like, political stuff. It's not really... There's, like, computers and hacking to some degree. It's not a huge focus. People don't have cybernetic implants everywhere. It's dystopian, but it's not cyber. It's maybe, like, 60% to being cyberpunk. It's got a lot of the tropes, but not the cyberization that is kind of necessary. Oh, so Bulba was racing in that one. Yeah, he's in fifth. He isn't even close. He's losing his touch. Here's a new locale. The sky. So how far how far do we need to get before we unlock fourth set, I wonder? Oh, that's a that's a good face. That's a beautiful creature on God's <laughs> green space. But he's all eyebrows. Since when is hacking cyberpunk? That's the whole thing of cyberpunk is that everything's digital and technological and people are hacking Neuro, into stuff. You ever play Watch Dogs? You ever see Neuro... You ever read Neuromancer? Like, the cyberpunk tropes are... Cybernetic components to the body are pretty universal. Everything and is hacking. online and hackable, and corporations rule everything. Those are like the three big tropes of cyberpunk. Yeah, that... Basically, Mega Man Battle Network is, uh... 33% of the way to beat Cyberpunk. Blade Runner? Blade Runner has two of the three. Uh, it doesn't really have hacking, but it has uh, wrote so androids Ghost and... Ghost of the uh, Shell. Ghost of the Shell had all three. Ow! Well, oh, I remember that wall being particularly lethal for some reason. Like, for, some, for no reason, that does more damage to your engines than other walls. Because made a Dura Oh man. I don't know what they're saying. I'm I... just imagining these are the most potty mouthed aliens. By the way, Star Wars and Star Trek are. Uh... Very different they're... series. They're different in terms of tone, because you got Star Wars, which is kind of chaotic as fuck. Star Wars then... is a spectacle. It's yeah, a new Star Trek record. is is more slowed down and thoughtful. So you have people from Star Trek transposed into Star Wars. They'd be really just confused as to all the chaos. Especially considering how they're like really chill in comparison. Yeah. They're all about uh, thinking things out, coming up with a plan. Yeah. Also, uh, from what I heard... Just dead. Star Touch the wall, Star dead. Star Trek tech is like way more advanced than Star Wars tech. Yeah. Well, because Star Wars tech is just magic. Also, there's something that uh, that was told. Uh, uh, there was a detail in Next Generation where yeah, we kind of guys cut our shrubs and they cut our cable. Oh, that sucks. Did you sue them? You should sue them. Watch out for those turns. Oh, Anakin just taunted you. 
time <laughs> every time you hit that wall you can't avoid hitting that wall it's a magical death wall <laughs> that wall has it out you killed its family and now you're gonna pay I wish I could go around like this in a circle. That'd be like F Zero. You know, it was marked with caution and everything. You think, you think that'd be enough warning? Jack, I can't turn to sharp enough. I need more turning, Jack. You're having to tap the, the, the joystick in order to to make to make adjustments because you're turning too sharply and it's not sharp enough. You see what this Jeez. game does? It's brutal. Why not? Why not try slowing down? Because it's a race, but, Jack. I'm gonna lose. <laughs> the break is there for a reason. It's a new lap record. Hey! See, I'm fine. I'm in first. It's like it's like a it's like a glass bottle attached to a jet engine. Pretty much, yes. Like a balloon on a jet engine. And this wall is spikes. I didn't even touch it that time. I wonder if somebody d ever did a proper uh, Star Trek Star Wars crossover with, with like the Enterprise in Star Wars land. I'm sure, there are many fan fictions. There is a, a Star Trek First Contact where uh, they go back in time to stop uh, a, a dude uh, from having his uh, important like uh, space flight project from being stopped by the board. And they end up taking a woman from the past onto their ship in it's order to save her. Record. And uh, they encounter, he, she encounters Worf and she looks surprised. And he says, I am a Klingon. As if, as if that's supposed to explain anything to her. Yeah. I just, I, uh, that's not up for nothing, I just remembered that. Oh my god, that guy's green, what is he? I'm a, a, a demon. I'm, I'm not too sure myself, actually. I have yet to make that turn without hitting the wall, it's just not gonna happen. So would you say this game is, uh, is... Harder or easier than F-Zero GX? Uh, I would say it's easier than F-Zero GX on the hardest difficulty. Even, even not even that, just, it is easier than F-Zero. I just haven't stuck with it as long, because I like the game, just not quite as much as F-Zero. I was more dedicated to, uh, fuck! Please! Please! Got it! Clutch. Have I played Time Splitters 2? Yeah, I have. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty good. It's like uh, Goldeneye, except. Uh... Oh, you unlocked somebody! I got Juan Sandage. Juan Sandage. <laughs> just... <laughs> See, there he is! There's Juan Sandage! <laughs> Eyebrows. Zugga Challenge. So the bot, the picture is the planet, and then the title is the name of the track. Oh, okay, we get, we yeah. get Dinosaur Man. Oh God, that that looks You'll that looks back, really huh? fucking. We need more speed. Top they speed, higher. Oh, you don't have guy. enough. Uh, don't have enough. I mean, break. wait, what? Oh, never mind. <laughs>
repair. They come here. I wish I could afford it. More acceleration. You can afford the acceleration. Yeah. More turning. I need that. <laughs> That's such a, a high price for a relatively small increase for the acceleration. Acceleration's expensive. Yeah. yeah. Then, you, but you just wait. Uh, when you win some more matches, you'll be able to afford top speed. Oh, this level has tanks. Or cranes, rather. The current record holder for this Crane tank is... Bulls Roar! I'm sorry, not Bolus. Bulls. Hey, don't, uh... Don't disparage a good name of Nico Bolas. Okay? He, he... He would never stoop himself so low as to participate in something as trivial as pod racing. Also, he can't. He's a fucking dragon. So, uh, fools will strike down upon thee with righteous vengeance. Great vengeance and furious, furious anger. Yes. So, there's this uh, channel uh, that I that I found called uh, Vocal Synthesis. Yeah. They use uh, predictive algorithms to. Uh, to make uh, fiction, like care to make people say what they want them to. I would imagine using that that uh, engine, applying it to Darth Vader, and having him read like the Navy SEALs copy pasta. Okay. You've heard of the Navy SEALs copy pasta? I've seen like something like that mentioned. I don't know what it actually it actually is. All right, let me uh, let me read it out for you. Give me a minute. Jack's gonna read the Navy SEALs copy pasta. You little piece of shit, you're trash. I was in the Navy SEALs, something like that. Uh, something like that. Let's see. What the fuck did. Hold on. This popped up. I, I may have heard this. What the fuck did you just fucking say about me, you little bitch? Well, have you know I graduated top of my class in the Navy SEALs, and I've been involved in numerous secret raids on Al Qaeda, and I have over 300 confirmed kills. I am trained in guerrilla warfare. I'm the top sniper in the entire U.S. Armed Forces. You are nothing to me but just another target. I will wipe you the fuck out with precision the likes of which has never been seen before on this earth. Mark my fucking words. You think you can get away with saying that shit to me over the internet? Think again, fucker! As we speak, I am contacting my secret network of spies across the USA, and your IP is being traced right now, so you better prepare for the storm, maggot! The storm that wipes out the pathetic little- Yes? I like this part of the coffee pasta. The storm that wipes out the pathetic. I've, 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 I've heard it. Like, I've seen it yeah. posted in like Discord and things. Yeah, imagine the uh, Barack Obama say, or and Martin Luther King saying that. It's a new lap record. Posed by Johnny, age 12, mad after a Call of Duty loss. Now do Ram Ranch, Jack. Ram? <laughs> Wait, what the fuck is Ram Ranch? Sounds like an Android game. Ram Ranch? Okay, Ram Ranch is a song by Surreal Erotic Artist. <laughs> That's the name? Uh, Grant McDonald, which features over-the-top sexual lyrics with little rhythmic relationship to the accompanying beat. So, staple tapeworms on my penis, too. Uh, I could conceivably do something like that for another Scriblio. Charles, I hadn't, I hadn't thought about it yet. I didn't know if I was going to do... Because Drawful also does uh, custom prompts a little more easily. Yeah. I should just make a bunch of custom prompts for you guys to do and not participate in the stream on one on days you're streaming while I'm working, so that uh, so that you don't know what to expect. The thing is, even if someone else entered the or gave me the prompts, I would still have to type them in, so I would know what they are, though. Oh, it doesn't have like playlists you can save. Uh, no. Oh. 
what if I just host the game and, and not play? We can do that, that's one option. It's really the only fair way to do custom prompts, is to have the person who enters them not play. Yeah. Okay, we did it one time and I kind of had to refrain from participating. What was that other drawing game you did? Does that support custom prompts? Uh, there's another one. The one you did uh, last time, Draw.io? It was Drawful and Scriblio. Scriblio, that's the one. What's that? Uh, it's basically an online browser version of Drawful that uh, it's a new it does have record. custom prompts, but that's the one that I didn't have to type them in, so. Oh. It has uh, it has more drawing features like multiple colors, a fill tool, things like that. Uh. And you the the major thing that's nice about it is that uh, the person drawing gets to choose between three prompts instead of just being stuck with one. Ah, that makes sense. So yeah, I'd say it's it's fair to call it a better version of Drawful. kind of game where he has to type in anything. It's probably probably a good idea not to do that. Yeah. Cause we did, oh, that's another thing that happened with uh, Scriblio, is that uh, we tried letting the chat participate, and some people came and in with bots and started uh, doing some not good things. Let me guess, they were drawing Nazi shit? Ah, uh, worse, arguably. Worse than Nazi shit. And they were bots, so it was like uh, generating a PNG image on the screen. It wasn't actually drawing. Oh, wow! Uh-oh! So they, they've just straight up hacked the Scriblio. What kind of image? Are, how, were they that bad? Uh, I, just, I stopped it before it appeared completely. You can probably figure it out by looking, though. That's a shame. And most people left after they weren't. They realized that I wasn't going to be able to do chat participation. So, so it's a little. It's it happened in Drawful too. Just apparently, it's compounded in Scriblio because of that bot ability. It is apparently a very popular game, though. So I guess I guess people tend to tune into it on Twitch. Try to troll using yeah, images. Ma the Maple stories were actually some of the most viewed streams. It's a recently. new lap record. The, where the, the Maple Story DS one was uh, pretty popular. Yeah, well, and especially the Maple Legends one because their their Discord actually promotes those streams on the website. So I had like 50 people come in for that. Dinosaur Man. Is that eight engines? Hello? Eight engines. Eight engines is kind of cheating. I thought you only were allowed two. Oh, here we go. The fucking jungle levels. Maybe this <laughs> Maybe this one's not like too these, bad. Huh? I remember the first, like, huge spike in difficulty was a jungle level with crazy sharp turns. Well, we'll, I don't see, know if it's this one. It's Neva Key. Maybe it's this one. I don't know. You guys play Salem. Shame we have played Town of Salem, yes. Would you be willing to do that again anytime soon? Uh, for that. Maybe. It, it's kind of hard to stream because you can't talk a whole lot by the nature of the game. It's also not my favorite game in the world. And they keep on adding stuff to it that makes it more complicated. Mm -hmm. 
pod racer. This may be the future of pod racer racing, folks. So take a good look. No, cable. The future of pod that, racer. That sounds like it might be. Oh, I, I, I boosted there. I guess you just time it right. You did it. Nice, narrow, sharp turns at the start of a map. Always good. Followed by some narrow bridges coming up. Yeah. Yeah, when you said jungle level, I thought that you were gonna be like bobbing and weaving through trees like you were on speeder bikes. Oh, or we'll something. get there. Oh. Either in this oh, or on the in the next jungle level on this planet. Beach. Palm trees. I think it might be that it's the second jungle level that has the really nasty turns in the actual jungle area. This reminds me of uh, of uh, Delfino Isle. In uh, Double Dash. It's yeah. got this turn off the beach, yeah. Here's an area with uh, trees I can bust through, I think. Gotta go through the trees! This guy screams a lot. <laughs> I... He's like nervous. He's got a nervous disposition and he's pod racing. It's almost like really? alien alien uh, Cheech Marin. Hey! I... Hey! I... Hey, Chihuahua! Whoa. Oh, that was a lot of damage. <laughs> You repair quickly at the at, at the very least, so yeah. take damage quickly and you repair quickly. Was that supposed to be a dinosaur? It just sounded like a dude going, "Ah!" By the way, pod racing is pro is probably Sam Speed's favorite thing about Star Wars. Yeah. <laughs> How fast is the speed of sound? Uh, let us see. Sound it's a Uh, 767 miles per hour. Okay, I forget how fast they go in F Zero. If that might be near that. Uh oh. So. Sam's speed was kind of close to that. Maybe he and the maybe he and the F Zero racers are uh, not F Zero. Uh, maybe Sam's speed and pod racers are comparable. Oh man, Sam's speed could outrace uh, pod racers in his uh, specialty car. And then F Zero might be a little bit faster. Look, look up uh, how fast are F Zero machines. Uh. F zero speeds. I guess these are soft walls, not instant touch death walls. Uh, so I'm looking up the Blue Falcon, and uh, and it says its max speed is 457 kilometers per hour. Okay, so can you convert that? Yeah, I'm on it. That can't be right. What? What? That doesn't make any sense. They... Tell me the number, Wait. Jack. So, 457 kilometers per hour apparently translates to just a little bit under 283 miles per hour. Okay, where did that number for F0 come from then? I use it. I. I look. I know, but the Hold source on. that Google gave. Like, is that from a manual or something? That's from a wiki. I'm gonna look up the uh, game footage. Because I remember it shows your speed in kilometers per hour in while playing F-Zero. I could swear it was faster than that. Yeah, I'm looking it up. If that's accurate, then uh, if, unless these are kilometers per hour. Yeah, it's 
It's going way faster than that, like a thousand kilometers per hour in the end game. Yeah, so I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look that up. So according to the number in game, they're like, uh, I guess twice as fast as pod racers if what's on screen here is kilometers per hour. I don't know if it is or if it's miles. So actually kilometers per hour is, uh, so one kilometer per hour translates to about 6.2 miles per hour. Oh. So it's actually, so it's actually kind of inflated. So if we were to say a thousand, it'd actually be 621 miles per hour. So they're they're somewhat comparable. They're, they're yeah, actually- the speed of sound was 700 or so. Yeah, the all three are pretty close. They're, they're all subsonic. Same speed, F Zero, and uh, pod racing. Yeah, I, I think I remember reading lore that F Zeros could pierce the sound barrier, though. Like there's some that are fast enough. I don't know. Oh, hold on. Uh, if they're boosting, I'm guess I guess that's when they are able to go up to 1,468 kilometers per hour. That's pretty fast. 912, so yeah, if they're boosting, they can actually break the sound barrier. Okay, so F-Zeros are the fastest of the three. Maybe. Yeah, I haven't are. I haven't boosted in this. And I still don't know what this is measuring. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. It's not necessarily miles per hour. It's just some random number. You can still make it. Just boost. Ah! Fuck you, whoever you are! It's a new lap record! Uh. Star. How fast do pod Wars racers go? Speed. Unit. I don't think that's gonna return anything. Uh, list of measurement units in Wikipedia. Data storage. Length. Volume breakers. We get to unlock Eustace. Time. Mass. Just look up how Wait, fast are on. pod racers. Okay. Here, I'm gonna do this. How fast are pod how racers? Fast. Seven hundred kilometers per hour. Thank you. What? Seven hundred kilometers per hour. Okay. So what we're seeing is not actually miles per hour, but kilometers per hour. Hold on. It is 435 miles per hour. So they're way slower than uh, than F-Zero machines. Well, if they're any faster, then humans truly couldn't participate. Only the best parts you find and in my shop, huh? 15,000. It's gonna be a big speed boost when we get that. <laughs> yeah. Then we will go as fast as an F-Zero machine. I like to think that the in-game th thing is uh, miles per hour, because there's no way it could be kilometers. Why would it be kilometers? This is an American series. It has to be miles per hour. Well, I know, space. Maybe the current the record holder for this cap is... Bumpy Roos. Yuma! Puska! That's a good voice for Eustace. Mark Bumpy Use. Seems like a simple enough level. I like this one. It's very straight. Like that. Very straight. Remember to boost. It also has lots of lots of jumps though, so if you land from a jump it ends your boost. Oh. This was the uh, planet with the stands on it. Jojo planet. Oh, was it? What's it called? I don't know, I don't remember. Oh. Ah, it's a sharp turn! Ooh, that's a big sharp one. Did you break? Yeah. At the last second? Uh, good. There's another path down there. I don't know if it's faster or not. Uh, 
There are a lot of a lot of tracks in this game. There's like was it like 50 tracks? Or close to that? I wonder if any are based off of actual real world uh, racing locations. Probably not. Yeah. yeah, the final track in the game, just a NASCAR track. It's a secret, it's unlockable. That's that it's just you versus Bulba. That's you don't only actually the fun Star Wars game. Yeah, the fun Star Wars game would have power-ups like blasters and, and throw the lightsabers and shit. Include like a like a hidden Mario Kart track. God damn it! Oh, you're he in he laughs when he dies. It's the sweet release of death. It's crazy son of a bitch! Oh, when the Galactic Empire came to power, pod racing was banned. And most pilots and their pods were hunted down and destroyed. Wow. Oh, this is a long one. So Sebulba was executed then. It's like, uh, like when pro bending ended. It's a new motherfucker! Yeah. And Eustace is way ahead. So Wikipedia doesn't actually show, uh, like the speed limits of the pod racers. So. Oh, that didn't end my boost. Fuck you! Uh oh! Okay. And the fun Star Wars game. I wish, I wish that there were like f more fun Star Wars games. There's Star Wars Party. <laughs> Super Star Brothers. Star Wars Party would be just a party game. You play Star Wars themed mini games and you land on the Darth Vader space. And you go through the Dark Side Revolution and all your coins are, all your credits are equalized. to get the software for it for online. We were getting close to 800 boosting. Again, 800. I think it's kilometers per hour because that matches up with the Google result. What was the source for that Google result? I don't know. A mechanic called Phobos designed the first pod racer. Pod racing be quickly became popular across the Outer Rim due to the violence of the sport. That's believable. It happens in our world. There's a level with two nice sharp turns in it. Here comes the second one. Break! I don't know why even go up here? It's not worth it. it doesn't cut any time out. Uh, your uh, your left engine's looking pretty sad. Pizza! <laughs> Pizza! Only lap two. <laughs> well. Oh, but look how far ahead I got. Still in first. It's a new black record. Damn it! Is there a way to increase durability, or is it just... I, I don't think so. I think if one of your horses dies, you're just done. Cool, uh, invisible wall. Those are called force fields. There's some other anime characters that can take out the Death Star. Uh, I'm actually struggling to think of some. Well, 
Like, it almost has to be shown in characters, but even then, that really is like Planet Buster level, which not many outside of DBZ do. Cell Saga doesn't count because that's a gag manga. Yeah, gags. And Star Wars is super serious. It's not allowed to have fun. Very serious. Uh. You know, he actually uses his wind scar on the Death Star. <laughs> You'd have to do it from the inside. <laughs> Just the concept of Inuyasha being inside the Death Star. He would be so confused. <laughs> All of them would be, honestly. The, be the best parts of Inuyasha were him just running around the modern world. Could you ask Kogomi, what is this, some type of super fortress? I'm not sure myself. It seems so futuristic. No, I don't think, I don't think Inuyasha could take out uh, the Death Star. I don't even think Naraku could. But... What if he uses the backlash wave on the laser beam? <laughs> Would that work? That might work. Uh, that's this fringe case. Oh, the Devil Man he uses his attack on Darth Vader. Darth Vader is fucked. Yeah, the Emperor's fucked. Devil Might Beam. Devil Might Beam. Not Devil Man, the anime character, but Devil Man from Dragon Ball. I don't know anything right. about the anime Devil. Uh, not, like, blow it up from the outside, but if they work together, the cyborgs can totally be able to take out the Death Star. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, we got you. We got Eustace. More big ass engines. Fastest pod racer in the galaxy. Bullseye Nabwa. My favorite the Star Wars character. Mr. Stout Lumpy Ball Man. There's Duck Bill. And go. Yeah, you did it. You won the entire thing despite. I wonder if this is like uh, like Toriyama, if like they got Lucas to design these characters, and that was his only contribution. I can check. I can check to see who designed them. Okay, Abyss. here we go. Oh wait, we only get. Okay, so the Invitational. We get access to those tracks by clearing the specific other circuits, I guess? Sure. That sounds about right. So because we cleared circuit two, we got invitational track two. Bozzy Beretta, the Muppet. He looks I like think... a dinosaur's character. Yeah, he does. Or a Flintstones. Can we afford anything yet? Not find the oh, we can. Anywhere, Wait, yeah. Think, oh, with uh... trade-in, that's right. All right, more speed. Which my oh. <laughs> Can't afford it. Put in an more air brake. Max air brake. <laughs> Perfect braking. <laughs> Max repair. You don't have enough for anything. No. I'm, I'm just looking. Or Excel. Even more you turning. I could afford more turning. He always wins. Do you want it though? You're you're barely able to control your. Yeah, probably. Your oh, Especially for this track. I think I'm gonna do this next track, and that'll be the last one. Sure. Because this is the one that really. This is the one that stuck me as a kid. This is the one I could never really get past.
The current record holder for this track is... Mazi Baranta! I guess we just won't see the, the awful, tight turns jungle track, but that's okay. So this one starts with... Well, it's, oh, it's narrow the whole way. Sharp turns, and it's got that. It's got two tracks on top of one another, and the top one has no walls. If you fall off the top one, you end up on the lower track, which is much more winding and takes a way longer time to get there. So in order to compete, you basically have to stay on the top half and not fall off without any walls. Or, you know, have a pod racer that's, like, ultra fast. Oh, they're already caught up to you. And, of course, they're CPUs, so they don't fall off at all. They're just amazing. Warning. And just like that, I am from 1st down to 11th, because I fell off the top half. Damn, this, that, that's a track. Rough. Oh, they found a shortcut, too. Yeah, you know, if you were a racing head, then you'd totally, be, you'd totally be into this game, but unfortunately I'm not, so this just looks like a whole lot of uh, annoyance. There's another stretch of top path leading to shitty bottom path. I like most of this game. I never got past this part for a reason, because this track is awful. The design of it seems like it's a bit shit. Just this track alone is as forgiving as the hardest stuff in F-Zero, I think. It's a new lap record! Thanks, Brock in 10th place. If I, like, really air brake, maybe. Yeah. I don't think... I don't think it's possible. That's just... Me. It seems pretty impossible. It's pretty insane. I think if I spent as much, as many resets and as much time on this as I did F-Zero levels, I could do it eventually. But that's a lot of time and a lot of resets. For Star Wars Episode One Racer. Yes. It's just a split second before it hits zero. That's the time. And even if I slow down, uh, that happens. I'm still on the top track for now. It. What? For now. Yeah, yeah, I was about to say you're still on it. Oh! That knocked you off. Reset. <laughs> this is one lap of three. I don't know if it's possible to get so far ahead that you can afford to fall to the lower track. I've never beat this track before, I'm not going to beat it now. I really just wanted to show what was so insane about it. The force is not strong with this one. Nope. What else is there? Executioner, Sunken City. Maybe the jungle track is the second one in this? It's fine, we can play it quickly. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this race, beat it. And then if the jungle track is the next one, I'm gonna do that, because that's the only other track I can think of that I cared about showing off. And if it's not the next one, then I, that, that'll be it. There's. I like the game, that's that one level is such that a... One, that one level would probably, like, ruin the game for me. It's kind of, it kind of does ruin the game. As a kid, I always thought there must be some thing, some mechanic that I'm missing, because they couldn't possibly expect you to do this. No human could do this. No mere moral... Yeah, that's right. They no were human. right. Super reflexes. 
passes. Dio could do it. <laughs> Why? Would, would he be able to? Would time stop abilities even work? Well, it's not. Seeing like Code Geass, Rolo could stop people's perception of time. Dio actually stops time itself. So, in theory, yes. So he'd still be in the po pod race, sir. I don't think the pod racer would continue to move, though. So what would... He would turn, and then... He would be able to stop time, react, and adjust his movements, and then restart it. Oh, pick a... Guess! Pick a tunnel! Good luck! Oh, go to the same place. He's still in first, even after all that. Nice. I like this tunnel. There's no rocks in it. Why am I so high off the ground? Why did I explode? I feel like everything they're yelling is a slur. Just the way they say it. They sound so mean. They're swarthy dudes. This is a potentially illegal activity. <laughs> it's not officially illegal until the Empire takes control. Technically legal. I guess that's Actually. one arguably good thing the Empire did. Maybe. Arguably. I don't know how corrupt pod racing was. Why the outlaw? You can't have fun. It's the, uh, like the... Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog Robotnik agenda. No fun allowed. Nothing joyous or sweet or pleasant. Thank God for iframes. What?! Did it kill you through your it, iframes? It just killed me because I landed out of the tunnel. I had no control over which direction I came out. Oh, that's not fair. This game isn't fair. It's a little unfair sometimes. Uh, let's try door number three. I might grab the uh, some lunch after this. I'm all, I'm all what would be a good Star Wars style meal? Uh, seafood? The Gungans like that. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm not rushing you. I'm just saying that whenever the stream ends, it'll probably be. Much I was also Wait, I was almost up to a thousand there. A thousand whatever an hour. A thousand units. It's a new lap record. Parsecs. Just a me just just wait. It's a, the, the, they're using a, a measurement which is actually three times miles per hour. And the, and the music they play is called jizz. <laughs> Lucas couldn't have known that that would have been the slang. It's based on a real non-slang word, though. Jazz. Jism. Very limited music pool in this game. Gotta be honest. So uh, I was going back to uh, Star Trek technology being more more powerful than Star Wars technology. Yeah. And uh, so the the weaponry is like lasers and stuff, right? Yeah. You would say lasers. Uh, do they have any planet busters in Star Trek? Uh, it's several, but um. God, why? I didn't have a choice in that. So, in uh, in Star, in Star Trek, yeah, uh, they just go down to the planet. They beam down and they have laser guns. But uh, in Star Trek, uh, they there was like a ship that was targeting them, and Worf was like, "They're locking lasers onto us," and the cards like lasers. Yes, sir. Archaic technology? Yeah. 
regulations call for yellow alert, but lasers can't even pierce our, navi our navigational screens. So, apparently lasers are no threat to Star Trek shields. Probably not to ships, but I guess to, uh, like, fleshy people on the surface. Yeah. But it's like, you got a bunch of fighters attacking them, and it, it just got the, the lasers just bounce off their shields or could absorb or whatever. So, presumably, you get one Enterprise in, like, a fight against an Armada, you take them all out. Unless they run out of ammo. What the fuck? Shields disabled. The the Star Wars approach just kind of seems to be more gun. Like, they never do hacking in Star Wars. Fire everything. There is a... They introduced the concept in, uh, in Star Wars. Uh, slicing, they call it. Of, like, going through... Isn't that like driving your, your ship through another ship? Uh... No, um, so like Knights of the Old Republic had a had a subclass which had the ability to slice into computers instead of hack. Get it? Okay. Yeah, I, yeah, I get it. That up. We gotta call and, it something uh, different. Pretty sure yeah, the hacking required, is uh, trademarked. Yeah, it required you uh, using spikes to do it, and uh, so you meet up this one dude, right, who's like, I have this uh, thing called an icebreaker. It can hack into they can slice into the computer system on this ship. Well, can't you just do it yourself? Well, they confiscated all my guns. Well, how are they able to take your... How are they not not able to take your uh, icebreaker? Uh, they... They weren't that thorough. <laughs> That's disgusting. That was literally the conversation chain. In uh, Star Wars? Knights of the Old Republic, they implied that a dude hid the thing. Well, you know. Yeah. All right. I, it was not the jungle track next. It was another, like, space nuclear place with Sebulba's name on it. I don't want to race Sebulba well, again. Nothing nothing can uh, can beat the fucking Abyss track. No, it, the jungle track sucks, but the Abyss is the... That's the furthest sucks I've ever gotten. Harder. I've never gotten past that awful level. Yeah, awful indeed. So, And I will not but, get past it today. But, probably uh, never. Yeah, pro probably never. That was my that was my experience of episode one racer that I had in the N sixty four. It was on Dreamcast as well, apparently. The yeah. amazing PC version that I gotta get my tree fitted back full. Yeah, you gotta you gotta get a refund on that. Thanks for watching, and uh, happy Cinco de Mayo. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Adios.